This week on Simply Ming, the award-winning chef, health advocate, and New York Times best-selling author, Rocco Despirito, is gonna cook with me right here. Voted America's most exciting young chef by Gourmet Magazine, he was also the first chef to ever be on its cover, Rocco will be making a vanilla almond shake, a fantastic spinach pasta, and then topping it all off with an almond cake. I'll be cooking up a wok stirred brown rice noodles with shiitakes and a spicy almond pesto. That's all coming up next, right here at home on Simply Me. I'm so stoked to have Rocco Despirito in my home. What's up, man? How are you? Nice to see you. I Two years in the making. Yeah. We, Finally ten here. Ten years. We were in South Africa the last time we were together. That's true. I know you're going to cook some great stuff for us. We're going to make I'm you a cocktail to start. Stuff. Great. It's actually a house-made vodka tonic. Uh, grab, grab me two glasses. This is house-made tonic syrup. And to make it, you have right. citric acid, you have chinchona bark. You have... Now, you say that like people know what that is. What is it? Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's actually a bark that you actually steep, and it gives you that quinine. So cool. Right? Man. The quinine quality of tonic. Thank you. Every citrus, lemon, orange, and lime peel, white peppercorn, cardamom, lime leaf, and lemongrass. That, with sugar, all gets steeped and cooked down simmer for two hours, and you end up with this. Go ahead, man. How many Follow cubes? How many cubes? To the top. I'm sure you have a very to specific top. amount. So to make our tonic water, it's a syrup with soda water, and then we're using a fantastic vodka that's seven times distilled, seven times filtered. So to make it, you just need, it's very simple. You need one this ounce. Stuff is any good. <laughs> so one ounce of the syrup, two ounces of vodka. You're not gonna actually measure that, are you? Uh, I am measuring it. You know, I, I, I think you should just freeform. I just finally <laughs> appreciate the art of cocktails. And then just club soda. You know, I like sparkling water, but club soda has more bubbles, I find. So this is the reduced That's liquid of all of these exactly. flavors. Exactly. We juice, a, put the lime on the side, a little extra lime. And you put enough of this right That's That was plenty. the first thing you put in there. Okay. Cool. There's your straw. You Thank can you, stir. Thank Give you. it a good stir. Thank it's you. It's all on the bottom. Cheers, man. Cheers. Here's to you. Here's your <laughs> success. Cheers. To Ming the Sai. What do you like? Yeah. No straw. It's definitely the best vodka tonic I've ever had in my life, for sure. No question about it. Cheers. Very, very good. All right. Let's cook. Cool. Come on. We're going to go cook. I feel like we should go clubbing now. All right, Rocco, what's your first dish, my friend? We're gonna make a healthy protein smoothie. 30 grams of protein within 30 minutes waking up fuels you for the day. So, what so goes we're gonna, in it? well, almond milk. This okay. is organic almond milk. And uh, when I say almond milk, I'm talking about almond milk, not almond beverage. There are a lot of beverages out there that have some almond essence, but right. really aren't almond milk. So it's almond milk and almonds, because this right. is a toasted almond smoothie. Okay. And if you can get that pureed, that would be great, because I like to do that first to make sure that the almonds are nice and smooth. Of course, they, they'll remain a little gritty. Because they're almonds. Right. But, uh, last set, turn it up to 11, man. Right, not 10. I got, <laughs> got 11. All the way up to 11. That's cool. when you gotta get more than 100%. Now we're gonna add some fiber. Fiber is super important to get your metabolic system revving really high. Fiber. And what, what is that? This is acacia fiber. Acacia and fiber, okay. We're gonna add some water. And we're gonna add some vanilla and almond extract. So always pure try to, pure always, vanilla extract, yep, obviously. Always try to get organic or at least natural. Uh, otherwise, it's just alcohol and artificial okay. flavoring. That is almond, and the first one was vanilla. Yeah. Now, this, my friend, is Lo Hang Guo. Ah. ah. Chinese. So, Lo Hang Guo is a melon. The juice of it is extremely sweet, 300 times sweeter than sugar. Just taste awesome. it. No calories. Wow. Really sweet. sweet. So, you add Love that. It. Cool. And then, uh, for 20 grams of protein, we do one full scoop of protein powder. Okay. And for 30, we do one and a half. So I'm gonna do one and a half. You want a little ice? And two, two big scoops of ice. Okay. And you should end up with a really nice, smooth, uh, great flavored shake. Now this, so this shake is... All the way up to 11, buddy. That should do it. 
All right, so you should have with a very smooth, very creamy, just perfectly sweet and not too sweet, um, very high protein shake with 11 grams of fiber that will get your metabolism rocking and rolling. So awesome. there are a couple of things that you need to do if you're concerned about living healthily and right. losing weight uh, is drink a lot of water, eat a lot of protein, and eat all day long. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's really good. It tastes so almondy. And almonds are, are incredible for you. I could drink this every day. All right, so here's dish one. Dish two is a spinach pasta, but you've never All seen protein. a spinach pasta like this before. Right. No wheat. So this course, what are we doing? All right, so we're making a spinach, quote, pasta okay. with a, a simple pomodoro sauce. Now, this pasta will be made of entirely proteins, about 95% protein. The rest will be spinach and basil. So it's a carb-free, guilt-free pasta wow. that you can have anytime you want, as okay. much as you want. We start with garlic. Right. I like to toast it to the point where it's almost burnt, but not. Okay. And um, a lot of people sl uh, chop garlic, but I like slicing garlic. You get nice garlic chips. Right. It looks pretty. And I use a mandolin, but a lot of people are afraid of the mandolin yep. because you cut your fingers. So right. this is a little trick one of my dishwashers taught me. He puts the garlic clove on the fork and then uses that I love to that. slice the garlic. Isn't that cool? So you want the garlic to be toasted. Okay, I'm slicing your tomatoes in half, Yep, right? and you're slicing cherry tomatoes in half okay. for me. Now I'm gonna split this in two because we're gonna make the sauce in one pan okay. and the pasta base in the other. We've got silpats prepared. Silpats are nonstick baking sheets. Um, you yeah. can also use parchment paper if you don't have that at home. Right. I've pre-sprayed them with a little bit of olive oil. Okay. All right, we're gonna get these. I'm gonna turn these up on high. All right. Now, so you have what? Spinach and basil, looks spinach like. Spinach and basil, that's right. So, I know that we're taught to use herbs at the end, but last time I was in Italy, this great Italian cook taught me to cook the, the basil in the olive oil in the beginning. Okay. Uh, when you make salsa di pomodoro, and it tasted really good. Yeah. yeah. So, this is pepperoncino, always uh, part of salsa di pomodoro. A little bit of spice. The holy trinity, and then lots of basil that's gonna fry in. Okay. The olive oil. Got it. Cool. The other part of the basil is going to go in with the spinach. Okay. Looks like I'm seeing double right now, but exactly. I know there's a method to your madness. And this is the spinach. We just want to get this to wilt. Okay. And once it's wilted, we'll drain it of its liquid. Any uh, S and P? Yes. Salt and pepper for sure. I got this one. You got, got that this one. one. Pepper for sure, you said? Yep. Okay. And you actually want the garlic to toast. You want the basil to fry. Cherry yep. tomatoes are great. Tomatoes ready to go. We cook it a little bit more. I'd like it. I'd like to see that garlic turn brown, which is great. You really maximize the flavor at the point where the garlic is almost burnt, but okay. not. And we're going to be able to arrest the cooking of the garlic with all those nice cold tomatoes. Now okay. look at the basil. You can see how the basil is now crispy. Yeah, crisp up. And um, that is a good thing. Don't worry about that. Okay. All right. I'm going to add the tomatoes now. Yep. Okay. All of them? All, yep, all go right in there. Okay. And this is how tomato sauce is made. You don't open right. a can when you make tomato sauce. It's I'm just going to let this melt, and this is so ready that's to be. going to take five, five or eight minutes? Yeah, about okay. ten, 10 minutes, exactly. Okay, 10 so minutes, all right. This we're going to um, cool. I've got a bowl of ice over there. Yep, I got that. And we're going to make our pasta. Come on over. So it doesn't look like there's a lot of water to start with, which right. is great. But you just want to take out the excess because it will affect the texture of the pasta. Okay. I hate to drain it, it probably tastes so good. Oh, are you kidding me? Spinach juice. Yeah, it's great. And the pasta is made with um, egg white powder. Egg white powder. All right, so again, basically pure protein with- Pure protein, no fat. liquid egg white. Liquid egg white, okay. And that's it. That's it. Right. And this is not pasta that is dry at first. You might need the plunger. Right. Uh, it's, not, it's not dry pasta. It's a wet pasta that we cook. Great, so you want an extremely smooth puree, you want to make sure all the ingredients are mixed in. Okay. Looking good? Looks good. Two big strong guys to pull that top off. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so now we need uh, the Oops, rubber sorry. spat or something to remove all this liquid. Yeah, so you got this nice paste now. There you go, brother. Real rubber spat. Yep. Tomatoes are looking awesome. So you end here. up with this paste, and this is what your pasta is going to be made out of. Really? So let's move this up here. Clean this up for you. Yep. So here we have an upside down sheet tray, and there's a reason for that. So, yeah, so what we do is we take out this puree. 
Okay. That looks awesome. And I've never made pasta this way, Rocco. I can tell you and that. Just start to yeah, smooth it out. Yep, exactly. It smells good. Now you could also put this in a squeeze bottle and extrude it right into hot water, and you'd make spaghetti. Uh, in this format, you can make uh, pappardelle, fettuccine, right. uh, guitarra, that very thin spaghetti that's flat. Yep. And then just to make sure it's totally flat. Wow. It's good. You put another silk pad on top. And then take a rolling pin and just push it out. And it might come out the sides, that's okay. I just make it perfectly even. Yep. As even as possible. Right. You know, in Italy, they don't care about things being perfectly anything. Right. They just want it to be delicious and they just want to laugh. So if you count I happiness. Must be Italian, <laughs> I, I you, don't you, want to burn. You are Italian. All right. So. You're my Italian brother from another mother. Okay, so that goes in an oven. How takes long? about 10 minutes. 350, right? 350, exactly. 350, 10 minutes. All right, this sauce takes another eight minutes. That pasta takes 10. Come back, we got spinach pasta. So pasta done, Rocco, right? All 10 right, minutes. Man. Sauce is ready too. Let's see what we got Tastes here. Tastes very, mmm. Gonna love this sauce. Woo. All right, let's okay. see what we got. So peel it off carefully. Sometimes it sticks. There you go. It's not sticking, perfect. Awesome. And then you take off this layer. So cool. And so, do you want fettuccine, pappardelle? Do you want malfatti? What shape do you want? Fettuccine. Okay, so then we roll it up. It's amazing. And you cut it into fettuccine shape, which is a wide noodle, but not too wide. It's incredibly The durable, knife is right? really what's doing the job here, though. This is <laughs> yeah. an amazing knife. Is there something special about this knife? <laughs> Japanese knives make good knives. It feels like knife. a very expensive, very nice knife. <laughs> but so you can cut this in any shape you want. You can make ravioli if you wanted to. It's yeah. amazing. So this is cool. So now we have protein pasta. This is pasta that you can eat all day long and not feel guilty about. And you don't have to boil it. It's hot, ready to go. Uh, what do you say, too much sauce? Is that a, yeah, I'll take out a spoon. That is just like tomato candy now. All right. And everything is hot. We toss it together. Let's put it on high. Make sure they're all separate. It's and awesome. some, of it, some of it's thick, some of it's thin. It doesn't right. matter. Well, it's house-made pasta, right? Exactly. So, Dude, that looks awesome. And I bet you most people wouldn't even know the difference. Because you know when you have spinach pasta, it looks just like this, right? It does. Yeah, I and you can do this with any this. vegetable, any broccoli, uh, it, squash, anything you want. As long as you got that egg white protein in there, it'll bind. I'm impressed. Give me your spiel on fat, because you have olive oil in here. Yeah, so there's plenty of fat right? in, in this dish. I put, um, I don't know, two, three tablespoons in the beginning. Uh, one tablespoon is enough, but I happen to like olive oil. It's a really healthy right. fat. It lowers your bad cholesterol. It's actually good for you. It helps your body produce hormones right. that you need, like testosterone, that help you lose yeah. weight. Um, you, if you eat a lot of fat, you become a fat burner. It's when you add the sugar to the fat that you stop so burning sugar fat. Sugar is the devil. Sugar's the devil. I love coconut oil, avocado oil, right. all the nut fats, all the nut oils. Using um, it works for cashew you milk, almond milk to cream things, make things feel uh, rich and right. luscious. Yep. All right. So we have I uh, have a little tempranillo from Spain for cool. you. Cool. Thank you. Let's see if that will work with your As pasta. As you know, that's my favorite. You're so right, dude. If you went to a restaurant and ordered spinach pasta, I don't think you'd you wouldn't know. So. Your waistline would know, but your palate wouldn't. Well, let's see. It's all about the texture and the taste, right? <laughs> and these are negative calorie foods, meaning you can eat as much as you want and there is no calorie penalty. That's, that's amazing. Let's just get the last bit of that. Oh, look at that. That's candy. Look, that is candy. All right, necker. now, of course. For you, sir. A little Parmigiano Reggiano. Oh, yeah. To finish this Again, off. You, you could top side. this with some basil. You could top this with some pepperoncino if you want. See, um, I love I, this. Look how much cheese he's using. I so. generally don't eat dairy, by the way, but I make yep. an exception for Parmigiano Reggiano. Because <laughs> the Italians don't mess with the cows like we do. They do it the right way. Right. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. Tempranillo? Tempranillo. Cool, I can't wait to try this. I'm going to get right in. Wow. I'm impressed. It's really good. It's even al dente. Yeah. It's really good. It is. It has a mouthfeel of al dente. Um, I love that the fact that the pasta 
tastes like pesto. Because you got garlic in there, you got basil in there, right? Yep. This is really good, dude. Lots of spinach. Of course, lots of great minerals and oh my nutrients God. in the spinach. So this is a high nutrient density food. It's not empty calories like most pasta. You know what? It's not a diet. It's just a way to, to live and eat, right? It's fantastic. All right, you guys stick around. I'm gonna make, actually, hopefully you'll like it. It's a brown rice noodle, wok stir noodle dish. I'm sorry, I don't have time for that. I gotta go. <laughs> In all serious, dude, that was delicious. Thank you so much. So I'm gonna use some organic brown rice noodles, okay, also gluten-free. Yes, that's right. Uh, make a little bit of Thai basil spinach pesto. Okay. Uh, it's gonna add some waxer shiitakes and tomatoes. So you can give me Apparently some. Apparently, I'm gonna be slicing. You're gonna some slice shiitakes right. and then just dice my tomatoes for me. Dice. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the pesto. So we're gonna put about like that. Yeah, perfect. Cool. I like garlic, so we're gonna put what's that? Six cloves in. There's a little spice to it. Here's one serrano chili. Seeds and all, I like heat. And you know what, the best way to taste the chili is if it's hot, lick it. Uh, that's We're a good fried. idea, that is a good idea. And it's really spicy, so one is plenty, right? Mm -hmm. Chilies are all different, right? So you have to, you have to realize that. Uh, toasted almonds, great protein as Rocco knows, and love the flavor. A bunch of Thai basil, and I just use a little spinach because I like the Greenness of spinach, and it does add a little bit of flavor. A little, a little bit of salt, salt. It right? That's a lot of nutrients, a lot of iron. Exactly. And a little bit of pepper. And then this is gonna be done with extra virgin olive oil. So we'll start with a little bit. We'll get the blender going, and then we can add more oil as we seem fit. So pop that in. Go ahead and get this going. And so obviously I need more oil. So let's take off the top here. Get this going. Ooh, look at that go! There we go. I want it nice and smooth. We're gonna let this go for a little bit. Looks like an Asian Italian fusion going it on. It is. Here, huh? um, I'm gonna put the pasta in. It takes only about two to three minutes. All right. So that goes in here. Good amount of salt. A lot of water. When I do pasta, oh no, Rocco, big mistake. Help. <laughs> That's totally fixable. That's funny as hell. Totally fixable. Take yeah, that they off. say simply ming on them. No, they do not. <laughs> there we go. All right. Much better. I'll spread. I'll be about two minutes. Look at that. Let's give this a try because it's all about salt and seasoning. Pesto looks great. Oh, fantastic. Okay. So I'm gonna use your technique. Okay. Because I thought it was such slice a great technique. Yeah, slice some garlic, I love that. Ooh, that's got good heat to it. So we're gonna, in this wok, a little olive oil. We're gonna do the shiitakes. Let me grab those rocco from you. Yep, go ahead. Put these in first. This wok is nice and hot, so I don't want the garlic to burn, so I'm gonna add the garlic. Um, now, my worst cut ever was on a mandolin. Um, so I can totally respect not cutting my fingers off. All right, so we're just gonna sweat these shiitakes down. So now we're gonna add ginger. You must use a lot of ginger, no? I love ginger, yeah. I use a lot of pickled ginger as well. In smoothies, it's really right. good. Yeah. Love it. All right, so we're almost done. I'm gonna add the tomatoes once these get a nice sweated down. It's gonna take about two minutes to sweat these down. We're gonna add the tomatoes, pasta goes in. Dish is gonna be done, two minutes. All right, so those noodles are done. Rocco added his tomatoes to the, the shiitakes, right? Yes, I did. So, I did. brown rice pasta takes three minutes max, right? Cooks super fast. Yeah, keep it al dente. Brown rice different than soba. So, yeah. soba's buckwheat and brown exactly. rice is brown rice. This is brown rice. And here's this is our starting to look more like an Italian dish. It friend. is kind yeah. of Italian. So here's our almond spicy pesto, like that. Let's give this a good mix. And we're done. Cool. Look at that, look at that glazing. I took the pasta water into the bowls just to preheat the bowls, right? Yep. All right, there we go. All right, Rocco, do me a favor. Come yeah, to I'll my left. No, come over here. I want you to oh, okay. wipe that rim for me and garnish sure. with some more almonds and a little bit of the famous Italian the cheese. Parmigiano Reggiano. Unlike Rocco's, we didn't make the pasta, but very similar ingredients, right? Tomatoes. Yeah, gluten-free, first of all, gluten -free, really important, cheese. organic. All right, 
We're good to go. Let's All go right. eat, my friend. Cool. Boom. So we're going to try this. And Rocco has a quick surprise. He claims he can make a cake in... In the microwave. Let's, let's, try this let's first. eat some food first. I've been starving me all day. So good. Wow. Not bad. Not as good as his pasta. This pasta itself. I like the spinach pasta handmade. Mm. But I like the pesto. Wow. I love it. It's really, really good. Mm. Dude. All right. Stop Come eating. On. Here we go. I'm going to see Rocco make a work. cake in three minutes. Let's see it. So what do you have in here? This is an organic almond cake made from toasted almond meal, two egg yolks, a little bit of vanilla, mm -hmm. and sweetened with coconut nectar. It's the actual nectar that comes off the coconut flowers. And it's been cooked. That's why it's dark. Uh, the almonds uh, have been toasted. Okay. Coconut nectar is naturally that color. It's actually really? a, a raw product, so it's never, never heard been of, cooked. Never heard of coconut nectar. Coconut nectar, it's 60 calories for a tablespoon. You know, oh. most sugar in its natural state yeah. is dark. Yep, that I did. So that is, and so it's going to be gluten-free. It's going to be no added sugar, and we're going to lighten it up with egg white. That so just a couple egg whites whipped up. Yeah, so these Stop are the eating. egg whites that we uh, separated from the yolks. Okay. And I added monk fruit extract to that. That's his go-to sweetener. Yep. And this is almost like a souffle. Looks like it. Awesome. And anyway, we just mix it together. Um, yep. Since you're so fancy, we're using ramekins, but normally I use paper cups. Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> I put, pa put them in paper fancy. cups. You're and, fancy. Uh, and I put a little hole in the bottom. And that's it. Really great treat for kids who love baked goods and sweets, but you don't want to give them all that sugar and all that gluten and all the dairy that's normally in cupcakes. And microwave. And microwave. Now, you can cook this as a conventional big cake if you want. Just make 10 times the recipe. So about a minute, Rocco? Yep, that sounds good. Okay. Get those going. Serve it with a berry compo to simply crush strawberries, blueberries, okay. raspberries with a little bit of coconut nectar. And coconut nectar is a form of sugar, but it's a natural, raw, okay. organic form of sugar. It's got lots of inulin in it, fiber. Let's check these out here. So when sugar is mixed with fiber, it has a low sugar impact, and that's what you're looking for. Yeah, okay. These look, these, look, these look great. Here we go. Boom. Look at that. I love this. So it's a little bit like a souffle yeah. and... A cupcake. So you have no, no issue with sugar if it's in its natural fruit form. Absolutely, yeah. As long as I it's agree. got the fiber you it came the fiber. with. Yes. Exactly. One minute almond cake. Love it. Dude, that's really good. Comes right? out right. Your microwave really cooks my food really well. <laughs> I don't think it's a microwave, dude. Man, listen, you're the best. Thank you, man. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. We had some great delicious food, incredibly healthy, right? But it's not really a diet, right? I hate the term diet, right? It's just a lifestyle. It's, it's a total lifestyle. Right. It's about mind, body, soul transformation and mindfulness when you're making food choices. Awesome. Cool, man. Obviously working for see you. See you next year. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, see you next year. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. As always, peace and good eating.